cannot stick all of gold with a bowl upon the top of it and the seven lampstands thereof the seven pipes to the seven lamps which are upon the top thereof and two olive trees by it one upon the right side of the bowl and the other upon the life's left side thereof so I answer and speak to the angel that talked with me saying what are these my lord what are these sir it's like you're saying sir he was not called the angel lord as in Yahweh okay then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me oh you want to tell me you don't know what these things are I'm trying to speak Liberian I, I'm, I'm like the angel was a librarian. You, say, ah, you want to tell me you know what this? Knowest thou not what these be? I said, No, my Lord. Then he answered and speak unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel. This is the word of the Lord. So, you see, the things that were shown him now turn into the word of the Lord. Are you understanding? He saw some things, and the angel said, these things that you are saying, they are the word of the Lord. God is speaking through these things. Yeah. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. So God was saying, by this candlestick and all these things that you're saying that represents... Uh, that represents, uh, represents something, something. I'm, I'm saying to you, you it is by my spirit, spirit. now so, so we, we, we Bishop has been, been teaching very wonderfully about ways to be anointed, anointed. And, and we this this, this conference, conference is about, about equipping, equipping pastors, pastors. Are, are you as for me, I'm, 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 I feel bad when a church is not working. You know, the church is not working. I don't mean going, I mean, things are not happening in the church. The pastor looks discouraged. And one pastor told me, he said, the, the, people, the people don't come. The people don't come. Yeah. He said, the people don't come. He said, he, don't, he doesn't have, on a Sunday... He can have service because the people don't come. If he called them, they don't come. Yeah. So which means the church is not working. The people are supposed to come when you call them. Yeah. If you say we're having service, they're supposed to come. Oh, why are you looking at me? I didn't ask supposed to come. Oh, okay. It is something that you have that make them come it, because it's not by might. It's not about power. You see, you, you may be able to use your might and your power for a few times. But it's not going to work all the time. If you say, want to have a conference, the people should be able to give money. They got the money. They should be able to give it. Uh, you shouldn't be facing envelope and be sending it to all the other churches. Why, why must another church give you money? We are stopping that in this conference right now. You don't, you don't like that part of the preaching, right? What, where's the scripture? You know nothing. Where's the scripture? Put, please put it up. Don't move it from there. What's the scripture? 8 2. 1 Corinthians 8 2. Put that scripture up. We have to be looking at that scripture. And check in your Bible to make sure that scripture is also in your Bible. You see, there are certain things that we do, and the reason why we do it is because we know nothing. And we don't know that we don't know nothing. Yeah. If any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing, yet as he ought to know. So, 
what Bisha has been trying to tell you during this conference is that there are things to know that will make the church work no matter where the church is now pastors from especially out of Morovia don't speak against me in your heart and say the reason why he's talking about it is because he, he doesn't know what is happening in Grand Jida don't say that you know nothing don't say don't say such a thing otherwise you are not received and just listen and receive something and go back and it will work there is a big anointing in the house just receive from that anointing and go look even if they send you in hell you will build the you will build church One brother was telling, he said he just started his church, I think two years ago in Kakata. He said he has 300 members. Yeah, where are they coming from? Where did they come from? Look, when you are having service, eh, open your door and look outside and see the people, see the money walking, the money that's supposed to be the church. See them walking all around. Don't see that as bad. It's not bad. They don't like to come to church. No, they, they are sinners. They will go to hell. See them as the money that's supposed to build your church. They are walking. That's the money that's supposed to build the church. Yeah. But you see, you don't know. Tell your friends that you don't know anything. As you, you don't know anything. You are just learning something. I myself, I don't know anything. That's why I'm here. You see, anything that you cannot do, it doesn't mean it cannot be done. It means you don't know how to do it. That's all. People have gone to the moon. Then you say, you say, you say, you say, church, church can't work. People have gone to the moon. They look at the moon. They say, we, we are going to that moon. They sat down. They begin to think. They say, we are going. Look, after here, we are going to the moon with our church. All our churches are going to the moon. Yeah. I just started, I got to finish. When the bishop comes, I just got to finish. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. So, you see, unless we, we develop this attitude when we come to such a meeting, we can go back just like we came. It's a waste of time. Especially Joseph, you came way from Maryland. I mean, imagine you came from Maryland through many dangerous mud, torn, and snares. Then you have to go back all the way. But if you say, hey, I don't know anything. You receive a bundle of things that you can take back. And now it begins to work. It begins to work. When I, when I went to... to um, by that time it was iron shopping at iron conference and I came back and I was sorry for myself that I was telling you the, the last time and I said we have to build this place I was brave to ask who all wants to give just the people in the church who small my children and all those people I said who all want to give a thousand dollar offering 26 person or those someone else they're owing that money but I, am, I will continue reminding you because you have to give that money. If you, if you make me bail, I will call your name here. Those are you who, who haven't given the money yet. Should, should, should I call the name? Should I, should I call the name? Y'all want to hear the name? Okay, let's vote. Let's vote. Who all say? You have about 26 persons and, and most of them gave the money. You have uh, this other group. But you see, I was brave. I was anointed to look at people like that and say, who want to give $1,000? And some of the people who I thought could not give it, they stood up. Because what you want to do is right with you. But you don't know. That's what I'm telling you. Why you and I agree? Why are you arguing? 
Why are you arguing with me? Why? Don't be arguing. I'm telling you. I've tried. Yeah, I've tried. It worked. So, but it is not by might. It is not by power. It's by my spirit, says the Lord. So Bishop was saying, the way to get the anointing, the way to catch the anointing, if you want to be anointed, or to catch the anointing, you must be a believer, not in God alone. Maybe Bishop didn't say it like that, but let me say it like, some of you believe only in God, and that is your biggest problem. To believe only in God. Hey. I know some of you think he's, he's teaching heresy now. <laughs> Believe in the Lord your God and you shall be what? The same belief in his prophet and you shall do what? But I didn't write that. God wrote it. He said believe in God but also believe in the prophet. Because, because God is in hiding. Oh God, you are the God. Where is it? Isaiah chapter 4, the 5 verse. You are the God that hide yourself. Put that scripture up for the 515. You see, the anointing is a hidden thing. That God has given to someone like Bishop Dark. And if you say you don't believe him, you want to get the anointing from God yourself. You must believe in, are you hearing what I'm saying? Verily, that, do you know that this scripture was in the Bible? Some of you have seen it for the first time, right? You don't know anything, that's what I'm telling you. As you ought to know. Why you and I agree? Is it there's a learning? There's, look, the anointing I see is big. When you leave from here, you know so much, and the church will begin to work. <laughs> Verily, it's, it's, look. Anytime the pull of scripture, you check your Bible also to make sure that these guys up here are not manipulating, facing new Bible. Truly, you are a God that hided yourself. Oh God of Israel. It's like the prophet said, Hey God, you had to find you have You have hidden yourself. Oh God of Israel. That's why after Paul, the apostle have written almost, it's like, it's like, you know, <laughs> you can almost say the, the whole New Testament is Paul. After he has written all that, then he said that I may know him. Hey, if Paul can say that I may know him, who God gave all that revelation, he said you are caught up into the third heaven, you heard some things that he can't even talk. He said, I want to know him. Then what's about you? What I mean, what's about me? Want to act like because I got seven persons following me. I want to act like I'm something. So I come to the conference and I'm sitting now like a big stuff. You have to know you don't know anything. You have to be crying, Lord, I want to know you. Then you, you go back full and things begin to work. So you see, Bishop Dark always says, if you buy these books, it doesn't add anything to him. He doesn't, he doesn't have, he doesn't receive one cent of the money. He doesn't receive anything. So you can say, hmm, you're going to put a brother book. Look at you. Look at, look at, look at how wicked you are. Did I call your name? Did I call anybody's name? Okay. No. Or you can say, look, I don't know anything. I will, I will get that book. Bishop Dark said he was praying. He has, he has bought a tape. He was... He was going, he was a medical student. 
he bought a tape of uh, what is his name? Ken Hagen. He had listened to him many times. But he was going to him. He always said the story. If you listen to him, you hear he almost any time he preaches. He said, why he was listening at the tape. He had listened to him for 10 years because the anointing is hard to get. You don't get, get it one time. It's not microwave. God doesn't. Look, <laughs> those people who are around here, if, if you're doing it, you need to stop when you leave this conference and be making people look like, making God look like he's a magic God. That, 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 that you can, can get anointed one day, one day and oh, oh it's, a, it's, a, it's not true huh? Huh? you will you find me when you search you for me, me. With, with all your heart why? why because I'm a God who is hiding because anything that is precious is not on the surface anything that is valuable is in hiding you can't find it on the you can't be walking because you say you are in Grand Gita, so you walk in and you kick gold because gold is in Grand Gita or in Cape Mount. You can't find gold like that or diamond unless you get expensive machines. Dig at least that's not the guy somebody can discover is here. Stay they have to find a way to find it. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Do, do you like what I'm saying? How many of you think I'm not saying the right thing? Put your hands up. Okay, one person at least. You see, that's why you have to wait to the end of the statement. That's what Bishop said. <laughs> Don't begin to talk when the statement starts. One time, one lady went to church. So she was sleeping. So the pastor appreciated the pastor. Who I want to go to hell? Stand up. So by the time he said stand up, and when she woke up, so she stood up. So everybody was looking at her. So she looked around. She said, Well, I'm standing up, but whatever it is, me and the pastor are standing up for all to us. We are the only two people standing up here. What a shock. So, 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 so he was saying, if you want to catch the anointing, you have to believe in man. You have to believe in God. As a matter of fact, when Jesus was on earth, you see, you have to understand Jesus was on earth as man. He said, you believe in God, believe also in me. Because I'm the one here representing God. I'm the one carrying the anointing. You must, pastors, the reason why you cannot do any mighty work in your church is because the people don't believe in you. Jesus himself could not do mighty works because the people did not believe in him. They said, We know him. And uh, the, 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 what, what, what a many. What a many. Oh, uh, uh, Joseph, right? Joseph, right? Isn't that Joseph? Joseph. That, boy, that Joseph's son? We, we, we heard some things there, but we're not even sure. They said that his son, some people said that his son. Isn't that he the one? As a matter of fact, one time the accusers say, you, you, you are a Samaritan. Yeah, they, they, we know you are. You see, it's, it was an insulting, it was an insult to tell someone you are nothing but a Samaritan. It's not that you are a Samaritan, but you, they were insulting him. You are a Samaritan. And you have a, have demon. a demon. Yeah. yeah. Welcome, Welcome, Bishop. You are a Samaritan. So, 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 you, so you have, have to have believe, believe in, in man. You have to you find have a way. You have to have get these books, books eh? and read it. You will find a way to teach your people how to believe in you. Because until they believe in you, you will struggle like nobody business. Because when you say, let's bring money to build project, they say he won't eat the money. That's why he called him for it. So until you can get 80% of the people, because you, you have Judas, I don't care what you do. Some people, huh? they will be there when God comes, he will decide. So you just forget about that. But at least your, your desire should be, should be to have 80% of the people who will believe that you are a man of God. 
Now by saying, look, I'm a man of God. If you, if you try me, I will put a curse on you. Put a curse now. And I'm about to tell you, I will put a curse on you. Don't mind them. Because, you see, you see, you see, see what his name Moses. When Moses' sister attacked him, and uh, he didn't say, I will, do you know I'm a man of God? You are criticizing me. He didn't say so. He said, let, let, he said, let's go to God. Let's hear what God will say. So, let's go to the tabernacle. Moses was, maybe Moses used to talk soft because he used to stand up before when his when when voice became oral. He used to say, let's go to the tabernacle. <laughs> so they went to the tabernacle and we go, look, God said, God said, look, when I want to speak to people, eh, I talk to them in dream. It's Moses that I talk to face to face. And you stupid woman, you are not afraid to talk to Moses. Eh? You are not afraid. Moses didn't swear her. Moses had to say, oh God, I beg you. He said, God said, move, Moses. They will want you to be here for seven days. Hey, you're playing with the wrong anointing. Look, if you're anointed, you don't be causing noise. Is it bullet? Is it small? Are you not bigger than bullet? But if somebody put one gun in front of you right now, will you not begin to do everything right away? Nineteen eighty during the war, I was going, I was leaving to go on bombing side. So we got to the checkpoint. The guy said, "Where you going?" So he said, "Me see your Adika." He said, "Look at him." He said, "Oh, you Baba teacher." Huh? He said, "Today you will go see God." <laughs> you know when they when they tell you that, be taking it for a joke. They can kill people by joke. He said, "Today you." Today, he said, you, you Bible teacher, you will go see God today. <laughs> I said, hey, my, whole, my spirit left me. I was ready to see God, it looked like. There was one guy who came, who knew me, who I didn't know from, it might have been an angel. He said, he know me and something, he freed me. Hey, and I didn't see God. How can someone you're not smiling? You have to smile when you're in church. Don't make your face like lemonade. You have to be smiling. Don't, come, don't be doing, doing like this. Smile. Like the book of lamentation. Smile. When I say something, I leave, smile small. You don't know how to smile. Ask the person by you. What, Bishop Judah, the best man was, was preaching the last time when he came. He went to one guy. He said, he said, why are you, why are you not smiling? Look, any man of God don't like people who don't smile when he's talking. So, smile, please. The day I'm talking, it's, it's fine. Smile. Ah, why are you? When Bishop comes, you should really smile more. Because that's a bigger anointing. It's a sign that you are receiving the word. And that you want to be here. Huh? So let's just go through this quickly. Jesus and John the Baptist. Jesus, do you know Jesus submitted himself to John the Baptist? At least to a point. Huh? Yeah. He came and said, John the Baptist, baptize me. Please baptize me. John the Baptist said, What? I baptize you? I should baptize you? He said, I said, baptize me. He said, no. He said, you have to do it. We have to fulfill all righteousness. Yeah. Jesus believed in John the Baptist. Also. When John the Baptist had a serious problem and he saw what was happening, he said, you go ask. You go ask him. He's the one. And Jesus said, you see that man called John. Huh? He's not a small man. He said, John, not a small man. You know what Jesus said about John, right? He said, John, he's not a small man. He said, it is Elijah. He has the anointing of Elijah. 
Hey, you don't want to anoint you of Elijah? Jesus himself said, he has a, he said, among those that have been born in this world, he said, there is none. That is like John the Baptist. John the Baptist had the privilege to announce the Messiah. It's a great privilege that when you can preach the gospel, it's a privilege. Oh. Stop overlooking yourself. It's a privilege. Don't say you are nothing. It's a great privilege. It is a great thing. It is a great thing. You see, listen, listen. Hey, uh, look, I hope we can realize that it is a great thing to be a minister of God. Because if, if you don't realize it, what's going to happen when ministry become all kinds of, you get frustrated. And say, How did I end up here? I could have been, I could have been at the bank checking money. How did I end up in such a thing? That's how most ministers now have to go to America and be cleaning people and leave the ministry. Yeah. You see, it's frustration that make some of you who say God call you to Liberia, you are playing DV right now. It's, a, it's frustration. I almost don't want to blame you. 2020 DV is coming up. I just want to inform you, you can go and play. You see, I myself, I hope I could go and play. But it is the calling that caused me I cannot play. Because after I play, I have won. How can I leave where God has placed me to go to where God didn't call me? How? How, how can I do such a thing? So I will stay here and ask for the anointing so that things can work instead of leaving my place. Because when God is looking for you, Listen, when God is looking for you, he looks for you where he has called you. He doesn't go, if God didn't call you in America, eh? <laughs> he will look for you where he called you. That all got someone else here. And what's going to keep you, you see, it's not by might. It's by my spirit. When you have the spirit, you will endure hardness as a good soldier. Because every man that wore it, the Bible says he doesn't entangle himself with the affairs of this life. That he may please him who have called him. Your desire as a minister should be to please God. To please God who has called you. Yeah. To please God. They took the anointing is for doing the work of God. Paul, Paul, I'm talking about I'm talking about people who believe in men. Paul believed in Ananias. Yeah. When Paul got his knocked down from the donkey, God said, Go. There's a man called Ananias. Go to him. He would he would tell you. And God told Ananias, said, I'm sending a man called Saul. Ananias said, who? God said, Saul, Saul, Saul. How many times did I call him? Ananias said, three. He said, okay, Saul. He said, hey, Saul. We Saul. He said, Saul of Tarsus. Saul of where? <laughs> I heard about that man. He said, don't worry. I've, I've knocked the man down already. I've thrown him from way up down. He's, he's, he's sober now. As a matter of fact, he can't see good right now. So just pray for him. Be his father. Open his eyes. Yeah, he's humble. He has been knocked down from his high horse. He's humble. So he went. went. Yeah. yeah. And he said, baptize me. I don't know, you have to baptize me. He said, so you have to have a man 
that you will receive the anointing from. Even if the man is younger than you are. Because there is no age in the spirit. There's no age in the spirit. Some people, we, we, when I started pastoring, I was young. So, and when I started pastoring, I was pastoring a church that was set up already. So, I, I, call, I call a hard time. I have to tell them, you have to call me Pastor Span. Don't, don't call me Oliver, please. No, nobody calls me Oliver. Yeah. You, I'm the pastor. You called me all the way. You will call me by pastor. You have to put pastor in front. You see, because I grew up in the church and they just say, hey, Oliver. So I, I'm the man there now. They called me. I said, nobody called me Oliver. Yeah. I was, I was taking care of a school. One of the big high school and the, the principal happened to be mine. Wife entered and she called me one time, Oliver. I said, from today, don't call me. She was like, Edward, she will be my mother. I said, don't call me Oliver. I'm your boss. I'm the supervisor of the school. You are just the principal. You said I will fire you next time. Huh? <laughs> you see, you let people overlook you. When people overlook you, they cannot receive anything from you. And that's why Jesus was powerless when he went to his own hometown. Because they, they could not receive anything from him. Because they didn't believe in him. They say he's Joseph's son. And we, we even heard some things about Joseph and Mary. She talking about one angel came to her. Or angel can come to people. And, and so Joseph too, he just, that foolish boy, he just agreed. Look at the image of Joseph. Look, if, look at Jesus and, 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 and Joseph. They don't resemble. How come? He resembled a man. He resembled a part. They were all out of gospel. That one was not written in the Bible because it was written in the, the space. There's no space. So I'm just telling you that one for free. Elijah and Elijah. Yeah. He believed in him. Call him my father my father I don't, probably the, I don't know whether it was the age or what, or what but he said my father my father because you cannot receive anything from your friend or from your colleague if you receive some, something from someone you have to lift them high up because you have to pull down is it and Bishop gave the illustration or you want me to get it on the station and give two bottles of water on that? <laughs> it has to come from up. And it has to come down. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Are you believing what I'm saying? As for me, I want you to believe what I'm saying. Or I could give you a break. Yeah. Or I could give you a break. you be waiting outside and finish talking. Then you, you come back. He followed him through many, you know, there's a long sermon following through Gagar, through Bethel, through all these places. But I'm showing you men who believe, who, who receive the anointing from other men. That's what I'm showing you. And I'm showing you that the way to be, among the many ways to be anointed, is to follow and believe in not only in God but to believe in the anointed because we, we have to accept that there are some people who are more anointed than we are I heard Bishop Dad say he still listens to other people preaching it's like it's like the man has 3,000 churches why does he want to listen to anybody it's, it's like the man has I'm at 15,000 or 40,000 books that have been uh, 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 in print. Why do you want to listen to anybody? And I show some of the people he listened to, they don't have 3,000 churches. But they are fathers. They are spiritual fathers. He, he, he doesn't see them as his colleague. He sees them as his father. Yeah. Are you 
you hear what I'm saying? There's a, there's a cash the anointing. And we are showing you how to cash the anointing. Because as for church, anybody can open church. As for gift, we can have gift. But we're talking about cashing the anointing so that you become supernatural. The anointing turns you into a superman. How can somebody have 3,000 churches in 90 countries? How? How can a mulatto man who is born in Ghana have 3,000 churches in, 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 in 90 countries? How? Who is 50 something years old? How? Why? Because he said he was listening to, to Kenny Hagen. And something, if, if you don't want to believe it, fine. But something jumped from the tape, from the voice that he was hearing. Ezekiel, is it 4 4 or 2 2? Try Something jumped from the tape and jumped into his bed. And he heard a voice saying, From today, you can teach. And he believed it. Hey. He believed it. And the spirit entered into me. This is one of his favorite scriptures. When he speak unto me. So you see, as, as, as Bishop is speaking, and as you use your smartphone for a smart thing to record it, and you continue to hear it, the anointing will jump from your phone and jump into you. And he said, when it jump into me and, and set me on my feet, that I heard him that speak unto me. Yeah. Because the anointing is in the words of the anointing. That is why you must get the books and read it. And buy it and eat it. Don't read it, eat it. In order to eat it, it has to be for you. Because you can't eat somebody on the book. Because in order to eat it, you have to read it over and over, digest it, meditate upon it. That's what they call eating. I hope everybody understands that. I'm not talking about Because I saw, I saw one, one church, they told the people, go eat. And the poor went were eating grass. So I just want to clarify it before you buy the whole book. And the wife said, you're not eating today. He said, no. We went to a conference and said, if we want to we should eat the book. So says the books, don't feed me for two months. I'm eating books. Hey, all the ink on this thing here will kill you. If you start eating while you're here, we got doctors here that will take care of you. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Are you people stay here? We are catching something. Joshua and Moses. Joshua and Moses. If there is a man, there is always another man behind him. If you see a strong spiritual man, that is, that is, um, doing exploit. There is someone who is who is following. I'm talking about genuine, authentic work. I'm not talking about Facebook work. <laughs> it's not wrong to go on Facebook like we're taking pictures, we're putting it on Facebook. But please, pastors, we have to slow down with too much Facebook business. Yeah, with too much Facebook. I'm on my way to Banga. If they are looking for you, to, they will go away for you to Kagata. <laughs> yeah. But that was beside the, the point. Who are we talking about? Joshua and Moses. He was called Moses' seventh. He was called a seventh of Moses. Yeah. yeah, and Moses, Moses left, left everything, everything with him, him because, because he, he he had, had the anointing, the anointing of, of Moses, and now, now he is, is to lead, lead the people. 
You see, the bishop was saying, you can follow someone, you can follow someone who don't even know you. Someone who doesn't even know you. How do you follow them? You follow because of technology. You can follow them by the books. You can follow them by the voice. You know, you can have the podcast. I hope you know podcast. Podcast is, um, it can be put on any smartphone. You know, and you download the messages. And you listen to the messages. Oh, over and over. I listen to the message when I'm sleeping. Let, let me give you a testimony. For many years, I had a dream. I used to have a dream. Anytime in my dream, I'm climbing a hill. It, it would be difficult. I would, there would be no way for me to climb the hill. If I wanted to climb the steps, the step would be breaking. I've been talking about it. It's, it's like even my wife, the first time hearing it. For many years, I would pray about it. I would. Yeah, it was terrible. I know it meant something bad, but. By faith, I was still, you know. So I think I was when we went to the conference. And um, I was at the conference or somewhere, I can't remember. But I, I had Bishop Dark tape playing. You know, I play it, they are going to sleep, it's on, I wake up, I hear it. And there's, so now there is noise in the room. I try to lower it because I think my wife will be disturbed and all of that. But. I play it anyway. I play it. Do you play messages while you are sleeping? It's good. You get, like that, you can't have any bad dream. If you're having a bad dream, don't put... Don't, don't play that. Put preaching on. Uh, put good preaching on. Because while you are going to bed, your mind is working. And your mind got up in the night and... Hey, Is, is, is it dragon flying? So anyway, I think we're riding a bicycle and we're down this hill. And we're speaking, he and myself were speaking in tongues or something like that, claiming riding the bicycle. It was the first time that I ever climbed, I ever climbed a hill. I would be driving in my dream and I would reach to all the Rowers Hill, Hills, nowhere to climb. I tell you. I said, what is this? So I rode the bicycle up the hill. I got up. I said, hey, the hill has finally to be conquered by the anointing. So just the other night, I, I don't know what I jumped in a hole. I fell down in a hole. And I got up from in a hole. So I just, somebody, I just somebody held my hand. I climbed up. And I said, I'm getting out of holes now. I'm not in any hole anymore. Yeah, following the anointing. I'm telling you, it's real. I just gave you my testimony. You see, if you were to look at me, you would, you would think that uh, no, no such a dream can happen to him. So maybe you have your own dream. So I'm just telling you how to. Because the outside appearing can be deceiving. But Satan can be fighting uh, uh, people of God, servants of God, fighting them in any way. So the other day we were at the conference and he said, he said, you're going to. I think he said you're going to have a dream tonight and I, I had a dream it was not this conference I think it was last year I had a dream and I, I killed some kind of demon he said because I, 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 look, look I tell you I believe in this male I believe in him some of you don't believe in nobody I believe in him don't, don't, don't say anything bad about him around me because I, I even like his bad If he does any bad thing, I will like it also. Let me tell you it right now. Yeah. Mary Ann was supposed to like the bad thing that, 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 that Moses was doing. She went against the bad thing that Moses did. That was God with her. Teach your people. Yeah. Why are you looking at me? Because I, say I like the bad things. I say I don't. I don't say he's doing bad thing, but if he did bad thing, I would not go against him for the bad thing. I would even justify why he did the bad thing for you. If anybody want to do something to him, that God, do, do, am I God to, to humble his servant? 
some of you, all you can see is the bad thing that people do. Or you don't like what I'm saying. Because you don't. The apostle and Jesus. The apostles believe in Jesus. They say you are the Christ. The son of the living God. I finished talking about it, but I didn't just mention it. Dahiba Mill and Kenneth Hagen. Dahiba Mill believed in Kenneth Hagen. He followed him until he got anointed. Yeah. He followed him all the way. He said he followed him one time all the way. He went to America. And he carried his little offering. He said, he said when he carried his small offering, Kenneth Hagen was talking that something about. I think the offering, now he ties with the offering that he gave his church. I think it was 20,000 or 20, whatever. Some he looked at his little offering and said, Hey, if this man can give 20,000 for, 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 for offering or for tithe, then this more money. But he found a way. He wanted to see him. There was no way. And sometimes, you see, sometimes, and I, I learned this from him. Sometimes you want to see, you want to see the anointed. And you see him and you get vest. Huh? See, what well, I mean, they, they, they don't want to do, 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 do they, 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 they. He said he went to see him because he didn't see him. He took the money and gave it to his son. He said, please, please give it to your, to your pa. And he gave it to him. I think it was the next time he called and said, call the young man. Hey! The day I go to Ghana, he said, he said, say, you're called a young man. Hey! Ah! When I come, I will tell you the story. I'm waiting for that day. He said, someone, you don't believe in man. He said, why, 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 why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? <laughs> you see, you are too familiar. They said, Jesus, I won't know Jesus. We're not Jesus. Jesus, man here. Jesus, brother here. Jesus, sister here. As a one, one time, even his man, his family, it looked like they wanted to. Somebody say, say, you go call Jesus. Jesus said, say, your man also calling. He said, who my man? Who, who my brother? You think I'm a small boy? Who my, who my sister? <laughs> so he said, he went and he shook his hand. He said, God bless you. Look. If, if a man of God tell you, God bless you. Tell you, God, God bless you. It's not a small thing. It can carry you far, far off. You must believe in, in, in the power of the word. Even, even you see Bishop Dag is a casual prophet. You know, so it's a casual. So even a casual, when a, when you when you notice that prophet is casual or man of God is casual, believe every word that he speaks. He got to say. <sighs> He don't have to breathe three times before. Say, Pastor, pray for me for this. He said, go. It will be all right. Yeah. Go. It will be all right. Yeah. He said, go. Go. It will be fine. Don't be like, what a bunny. Neymar. You know that boy? He said, I thought I, I thought the male girl was going to come also, take his something, wave it, you know, and something. He just said, go, go take bath in dead water. The apostles believed in Jesus. They follow, look, they literally walk with him and follow him everywhere he went. Yeah. They follow him. He told them, he said, foxes have holes and birds of the 
the tree have not, I don't have anywhere to lay my head. He said, we'll follow you. He, he, he said, are you going to go also? They said, to whom shall we go? We know that you have the word of eternal life. We are going anywhere. The church, that when, it, when it came to kill him, Peter took the, 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 the knife and he wanted to chop the, the man's head, the man dodging, he chopped the man's ear off. Peter. Oh, you thought Peter wanted to call the man? Yeah. yeah. Peter was Peter Peter believed in Jesus. You wanted to kill the man for the man dodge. <laughs> what a dodge. Let me close. The bishop is here. Yeah. Follow him. David. There are many people, but David, David and Samuel. Yeah, Samuel, Samuel anointed, anointed David. David. David follow him. So to so believe in the man of God means not to worship, but to honor him. You see, when you honor someone, you lower yourself under the person. The other situation Bishop gave here. You come down so that what is on the person can come on you. Yeah. I'm telling you the reason why I, 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 I will write a book about why people do not get blessed in church. I'm, I will write that book. You know, I'd rather write a book, I can announce it so that I'm on an obligation to write it. Why church people are not blessed. One of the reasons is because they do not honor. I didn't say worship. I didn't say, say papa or wear the shoes. But real honor, they do not honor. You know, you know, you know, with their lips, but in the heart, they do not see their man of God as as someone they can receive something from. That's one of the major reasons why the church, many people in the church, are not blessed as in blessings. As bless, I don't know about material. You see, you see, we don't we don't even have time for that. Blessing is not material thing. Blessing is the thing that gave you material things. Yeah, blessing is not it's not material thing. When you are blessed, you you can get material things. It's a spirit. Yeah. But anyway, that's not for today. So you honor him regardless of who he is. If if you can't honor a pastor and you're in the church, leave the church, I beg you. Just move from the church. Go go look for Different church, don't come to mind, that's all. Huh? How do you believe in a man of God? You honor him, you regard him as higher than you are. Not as better, but as higher than you are. Regard him as a father. I didn't say call him a father, I said regard him as a father no matter his age. Regard him as a father. In your heart, let him be your father. You don't have to call him father. Because God said, call no man father. But in your heart, let him be your father. Because a father is a source. Which means, you can receive something from a father. If somebody is your friend, you cannot receive anything spiritual from on the scene line. You can only receive something from up. That's why when you see the anointing, you must, you must regard the anointing as a father. Don't be proud. The anointed, you must regard him as a father. Don't be proud. You don't have to, you don't have to call him father, but regard him as a father in your heart. Don't be proud when you are proud. Nothing will come down on you. Are you are you here? Okay. I'm talking about who go around here. Um, uh, son, this is my son. Who told you somebody that your son? You know you call son. Are you born the person? What have you done, done in the person like God and son? It's not because you are older than somebody that the person is your son. Yeah. You see, physically you don't choose your father, but spiritually you can choose your father. There, there, uh, there's a short man, five feet, uh, maybe five feet, five inches, who bore me? I didn't ask him to bore me. We had no agreement. 
My mother was even living shelter. I didn't ask them to bomb me. They were doing the thing and the bombing. Yeah. But, but so they are my parents. Because they bomb me, I don't know anything about it. But I decide now who is my spiritual father. You can't come impose spiritual fatherism on me. Is that a word? Fatherism. Father. Follow, follow nearing. Right there is a word. From the day become a word. You can't do follow nearing with me. I have to decide. The other people I didn't decide. I accept it. Now God. But there's one. I have to decide. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Yeah, I, I made a sound decision. Follow. I'm, let me just run it. Follow the instruction. Of the man followed the instruction this is how you this is I'm showing you the means by which you serve what it means to believe rather in in man because I say you have to believe in man also you follow the instruction of the man in order to follow the instruction of the man you have to hear him over and over every day and you hear him by listening to him preaching and by reading his books you know i didn't know this before a few years ago or i didn't know it as i know it but since i got to know it and that's why i'm teaching it so it has it has done something to me if you wanted to do something that you find yeah you have to follow his instructions you are not there with him. How do you follow the instruction of somebody who you don't see? Who doesn't know you? You follow the instruction of the person by listening to his preaching and reading his books. Are you here? Believing in the prophecy of the man, you must believe in his prophecy. <laughs> You, you, uh, is this getting, getting hard or, or, or something? What's, what's happening? happening? Huh? 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 Is it everything, everything all right? All right. Touch your, your friend, friend there and see, and see whether they stay alive. alive. Everything all right? Sure. Believe, Believe in his prophecy. prophecy. Believe in his prophecy. prophecy. Believe in the word that he speaks for your life. When you are, when you are hearing him preach or when you are reading the book, say he's talking to me. He's talking to me and believe it. Believe it. You see, let, amen. I always tell people, pray to believe. One of the prayers that you should pray every day is, oh God, help me to believe your word. Help me to believe your word. It, it sounds like, it sounds like, what are you talking about? I believe. There are many people, one of the reasons why people are not blessed in the church, reason number two. I'm, the book I'm writing about, I'm showing you. People do not believe. Uh, Oh, you think people do not believe? Oh, people in the church they do not believe. People do not believe. Yeah. People do not believe. If people believe, they will do. Anything you believe, you will do it. If you're not doing it, you don't believe it. Okay. Believe in his prophecy. The anointing is caught by following for a long period of time. So all of these things you must do it for a long period of time and God himself will decide to anoint you to a and I believe the anointing comes from one level to another level. In Ezekiel, in Ezekiel, he says, when he stood in the house, the water began to come from under the door. And it was, it was to the ankle level. Then it turned to the knee level. Then it came, the anointing is rising to the waist level. Then he said, it became a big river that was not possible for you to cross it. Begin to swim, swim in a, in big, a big river. river. 
And that's where God is taking us. To a very big river. That's what God is doing in this conference. He's taking us to a very big river. And, and our lives will never be the same. Our church will never be the same. You must believe it. Our lives will never be the same. Our church will never be the same. Be the same. Great, great things. Great things is going to come out of us. Great things. Great things are happening by the words that we are hearing this week. Great things are happening by what we are receiving this week. Great things. Great things are occurring in our lives. Great things. Great things. Great things. Great things. We are being imparted. We are receiving. We are receiving. We are going to new levels. Open your heart. Open your life. Open it. Open it. We are going to 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 great great level. Great level. Great level. If you will open your heart and receive and believe and know that I know nothing but I came to learn something. I came to learn something. Great things will begin to happen. Great things. Great things. Great things. I see God moving you to great things. I see God lifting you up. Carrying you to higher levels. New heights. New heights. New anointing. New anointing. New anointing. That's what God wants to do. He wants to fill us till we overflow lift up your hands and receive and receive from God receive from God ask God to help you to believe ask God to help you to, to believe to believe just to believe to believe the things you are hearing this week because there is a demon that comes the Bible says as the sea was so some fell on hard ground by the wayside and some fell on stony ground and some fell among thorns what you are hearing it's not going to fall hard ground it's not going to fall by the wayside it's not going to fall on stony ground among thorns it's going to fall on good ground it's going to fall on good ground God is bringing good things Good things, good things, good things. Labor, speak Lebonda. Good things, good things. Lift up your voice and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. God is pouring new things, good things. Good things upon your life. Good things upon your life. Good things, good things, good things. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it happen, let it happen, let it happen, let it happen. Lift up your voice. Give up your voice and ask God to be the happy to believe, the happy to believe. Happy to believe, God, we want to believe. We want to believe so that we can receive. We want to believe, oh God. Lamos, kilemos, kalabendi, kabalamos, kalabene. Lamos, kabalamos, the fire.
Action for. Hey. It says, Set a fire down in my soul that I, I, I cannot contain. I want you to just sing it because that, that's a song. You see, look. Please, I'm not criticizing, but some that will become so religious, you should be even afraid to sing this song. Because what you're asking for, it will cause some of you not to go back to Maryland, you will go to Grand Chile. Okay, suppose God speak to you right now, say, don't go back to Maryland, go to Kidman, because that's where I'm sending you. You will not tell God, but my family, uh, 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 is that what you say? Then you are singing God's song. So, so you you read it, you read it serious. Are you really serious about this song? You know what you're singing? Hey, I, I'm not going to sing this song. It's scary for. This song is too scary for for me. If you want to sing it, sing it though. Y'all can, can sing. I'm not singing. Please, it's, it's a scary for song. It's a scalable song. Let, let God sing the song. Read, just read the song, please. Read the song. Read the song and see whether you are serious. Are you serious? You really want God to, to put a fire in your soul that you can't contain? Set a fire down in my soul that I can't contain and I can't control. Oh, 
We want more of you, God. Put a fire in our soul that will begin to control us, that we can't contain, that we can't control. Put a fire in our soul. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Put an anointing upon our lives that will launch us into deeper places, into greater places. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, Labano. I kalabande lavasi kalabona. I bande lavala bala bale kebala na de lavala. Yes, Lord. I can't contain and I can't 